Singapore Immigration Laws and Matters, Permanent Residency, Citizenship. I'm Kay. I'm Elena. This is the Masterclass. What are the top things you should know as a foreigner working in Singapore who wish to apply for Singapore Permanent Residency? In Singapore, the Professional, Technical Personnel and Skilled Workers Scheme will allow a foreign expat to apply for PR under the following work passes, which is an S-Pass, an Employment Pass, Personalized Employment Pass, and an Entrepreneur Pass. So if you fall under one of these four categories, you will be eligible to file for a PR application. The next thing you should keep a lookout for is what is your minimum length of stay here? Your minimum physical length of stay in Singapore is important to this PR application. Even though the immigration authorities will allow you to apply for PR after accumulating six months worth of pay slips, but it may not necessarily be a good indication that you will be a committed and contributing member of the society for the years to come. This is why we always recommend applicants to meet minimum one year of stay and employment in Singapore before filing your first PR application. This will allow you enough time to integrate well into our society and also get accustomed to our local culture and contribute enough for the government to feel that you are deserving of a PR status. The next thing to consider would be your age. If you fall under the prime working age group of between 25 to 45 years old, you will be deemed at the peak of your careers and will be able to contribute to the economy at your maximum capacity. The next thing to consider is if you are well integrated into the Singapore society. It is only natural for the locals to expect our permanent residents to be subscribed to our local norms and values. Integration necessitates compromises and commitment to the country while adopting to our local mannerisms, values and culture may take a conscious time and effort to do so, but this will allow the Singapore government to acknowledge that you are a genuine foreigner, a candidate for PR, who is a bold to live harmoniously in our country despite the racial and cultural differences. Last but not least, do you know that the quota for PR is also segregated based on the type of industries that you are in? As a foreign talent, the skill sets and knowledge that you possess must complement our local workforce. While in Singapore, majority of the industries are welcomed here, but there are still a handful of industries that have a higher demand as compared to the rest. So we think about the more innovative and high-tech industries these days, like the artificial intelligence, cybersecurity, urban farming, solar energy. So these are the industries that may have a higher demand these days. And whether you are in a sunrise or sunset industry, this may also determine your chances and the quota for your PR application.